Hey guys, Technometry with a video for you guys. In today's video, we're going to show you guys what do you need to do before you sell or give away your iPhone or your iPad. This method will work similarly with the iPad or any Apple device that you have. Everything you need to know, we're going to go ahead and break it down for you guys. But before we go ahead and get started, if you guys are new to your channel, we do a lot of tech news reviews and giveaways. So make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also, if you guys are in the market for one of these phenomenal devices or looking to upgrade at a discounted price, make sure you guys check out the link in the description section so let's go ahead and get started with the video the first thing you do want to do before you even think about uh, selling or giving away your iPhone is that you want to make sure you back up your device and the way to back up your device is pretty straightforward there's a couple methods to do it if you're using iCloud you can do it through iCloud by simply going to settings and make sure iCloud is turned on and you can manage that and then make sure this is of course all of your stuff here that you see you're using for your iCloud make sure those are turned on and then you're going to want to uh, do is make sure iCloud backup is on and if you'll see backup is on here by and then you want to click on backup now this is the way if you have a iCloud storage it will back things up like your photo your accounts document uh, settings and much more to it that's one way but if you didn't have enough storage let's say you had that five gig only and you had a lot more going on the second way to back up your device of course using itunes on your computer so just download itunes we show you guys that in another video and then you plug in your com into your computer with the power adapter and you'll be able to follow the step to back it up and of course you can also back it up by just if you have your new phone make sure you do a transfer by holding it side by side it will transfer everything over so once you know that you're completely backed up and we probably recommend setting up the other device you're using already to make sure everything you have is already there because once we go ahead and delete everything off this phone you're not going to be able to retrieve that so that's the most important thing you want to do is back up your device and the next thing you want to do is if you are out if you also have the Apple Watch, you're going to want to unpair it. To unpair it, it's pretty straightforward as well. You're going to see your device. You're going to click on that icon and then click on unpair. And you want to unpair your Apple, I, Apple Watch with your iPhone. So that's the next thing you want to do. And then the next thing after you have done that and you know that your photo, your video, contact, and everything has been backed up, moved over, and thing, and you're really comfortable with it, the next thing we want to do is go into our settings and we're gonna sign out of our account here that we have. You want to sign out of it because if you reset it and you're not signed out, it's gonna become locked and you're gonna have to enter your password again and the next person will not be able to use it without your email and password so it's important to do this step this is simple you're gonna to go to settings and you're gonna to want to click on your name up top or if you're in an older version of it like iOS 11 or below you're gonna see iCloud you're gonna click on iCloud there and go through it but on the newer devices on iOS 14 13 or even 12 you're gonna see your name you're gonna click on your name and you're gonna go all the way down here and you'll see this option that says sign out and once you click on uh, sign out it's gonna ask for your Apple ID password and if you don't remember your Apple ID password you can also forget it and then get a reset to this email account that you have there in our demo phone we're just gonna go ahead and type in our password here just covering that up from you guys for a second and once you have entered that password you're going to click on turn off this is important to do because if you don't sign out of it what's going to happen is going to log you in it's going to be known as what's known as activation or icloud lock which makes a phone useless for the next person to use and once you have done that it's going to ask you if you want to keep these copies it's up to you, you can turn them on like your contact onto your apple device this is not on this device but your icloud that's what it's saying we're just going to sign out here click on sign out and you notice it's copying iCloud data and it's going to give it, depending on how much stuff you have, it's going to take maybe 10, 20 seconds to a couple minutes depending on your connection. And that's why you want to make sure you're connected to good Wi-Fi and your phone is well charged before you do all of that. And once you have signed out of it, the phone is linking your information out of it and the last thing to do is simply go ahead and factory reset your phone and the way to factory reset your iPhone is you're going to go into settings you're going to go to general and then once you're in general you're going to go all the way down and then reset and you'll see 
this option, the second option, it's not the first one. Don't get uh, confused. A lot of people get confused because they're thinking of settings. It's actually the second one. It says erase all content and setting. This is the step you want to do. Once you do that step, it's going to come up with a notification of that it will delete all of your information, your media, your data, and reset everything. The next person or that has the phone will not be able to access any of your information. It will be completely wiped out, and you're going to want to click on Erase the iPhone, and then you're going to get a final notification. This is why we mentioned that you really want to be sure that you are backed up because once you have done that, it will be uh, impossible to reverse backwards. So make sure you know that you're backed up have that backup on the new device that you're using and you're good to go. And then you're gonna to wanna to hit that erase iPhone. And once you do that, it might, so for some people that have a restriction on passcode, it might ask you for your passcode or face ID. You wanna do that so you can reset it. And once the reset process begins, it could take somewhere between 10, 20 seconds to a couple minutes or even five, 10 minutes, all depends on how much stuff you had and how much stuff the phone has to erase. And you wanna make sure you follow through and watch the phone completely reset and get back to the setup screen. You don't want to turn off the phone or do anything like that. Make sure you're connected to power source or your phone is almost fully charged because in this process, it needs to fully go through and do that before you can give away or sell it to someone because if someone uh, has the issue where it's, it hasn't been factory reset, they can run into issues. And once you have done that, the next thing people forget to do is actually taking out the SIM card of your phone. So the SIM card is attached to your phone number. Although you might be on a new phone with a new SIM card, you just want to remove your SIM card and get you know, either throw it away or put it in your new phone. And to do that, you're gonna want a SIM ejector tool. If you don't have this or because you threw it away, most people do, take a paper clip or a old earring that you don't mind if it breaks or something. Anything that fits in this hole, you're gonna wanna pop it in. And then once you pop it in, the SIM tray is coming out and you'll see a SIM card in here. We already took the SIM card here, that's why we don't have it. Take your SIM card out and then put that SIM card tray back in. And once you have done that, you pretty much are ready to go and either whether you're selling it or giving it away the next person will be able to use the phone this is important as you can see it's still loading and because it could take a couple minutes to even longer that's why we won't be able to finish the video for you guys but make sure you guys see this all the way through till it gets to the setup screen and you'll be good to go and be able to sell or give away your iPhone after that step. So hopefully this video is helpful. If this video is helpful, please make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Also, if you guys are new to your channel, like we mentioned, we do a lot of tech news reviews and giveaways, so make sure to hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching, guys. See you guys next time.